A question has come up recently, and I thought I would do a reassessment in this space to, to answer the question. And the question was, how much power do we use? So we have, we have about, there's about 40 pinball machine and about uh, 15 video and other things in here, uh, including the 15 includes like twin rifle and stuff like that and videos and the cocktail units and whatever. So that's about as that's about the machines that we're running. When we moved in here, we we decided not to draw a second service entrance for electrical here. Uh, it was this used to all be one restaurant, so they've got about 600 amps going to their drop uh, in their electrical room over there. We figured we could tap into that. We could pull 200 amps over to this side. We could set up a, our own little sub panel here. And that's what we would power all the machines on. So in in the original lease, they were talking uh, about we will, the, the building owners were like, because there's not a second service, we will pay for your electrical. And then I said, I'm gonna bring in a bunch of pinball machines. And they're like, uh, we don't wanna pay for that. <laughs> so that's what the second drop was for. And then from there, we ran external lines there's conduit kind of external conduit running around here because that's quick and easy and i can remove it and that's what all of the pinball machines and everything else runs off of so i have a meter on there uh just on that back panel and i'm using impora i think is what it's called that that meters everything that's going through that entire uh 200 amp panel back there so it's basically calculating how much we use in real time. It calculates how much we're using on all of these machines. So let's have a look at that and let's see what we're actually doing. So I don't have a way to, we're gonna have to just kind of look at this. So let's open Impora. So this shows our yearly use. We can actually track it. Doot, doot, doot. It's hard to see monthly, so let's go weekly. If we look at weekly, we're running sort of the average of about 260, I mean, plus a little, maybe a little bit lower, 260 kilowatt hours a week. And if you look at our daily, um, this this was back when we were open, only open five days a week, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And look, now we're open seven days a week. <laughs> so one thing I think is really, really cool about this, uh, School was still in session this week, and this is Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And Wednesday, Thursdays, we're a little bit slower. The Friday, Saturdays, busier. Sunday, you know, kind of a mixture of the two. Not, not so busy as Saturday, but not as slow as Thursday. <laughs> as you play these machines, they consume more power. Solenoids are firing. Things are active. More lights. Everything's, everything is happening on these machines. And you can see the power draw here. You can actually see the power draw here on a regular basis. I just think that's really cool. Electricity on the island goes for between 16 to 17 cents a kilowatt hour. So we're looking at about 44 bucks a week, um, about 170, 880 a month for the power. So that's not very much at all. The drink fridges are gonna be uh, a bit more Actually, they're they're gonna be, I think about ninety bucks, eighty to ninety dollars a month to run both of those fridges. Um, we do have some AC units in here, but heating and cooling was included. But those are gonna our bigger AC unit back there that we've got in the window. Um, it's gonna cost probably about eighty to ninety a month to run that one in this space because insulation in this space is terrible. They, they have in this, in the attic, they have, this building was built in the eighties, I think, early eighties. And in the attic, they've got the, the height of 1980s insulation technology, which is blown in insulation, probably about eight inches thick. So our value is what? 10? <laughs> and I think now they recommend, what do they recommend? Like 30 or 40, uh, our value for an attic space, something like that. Uh, I don't. I don't actually know. I know it's. It's. They usually say more than ten. <laughs>
So heating and cooling in this place kind of sucks because the insulation is terrible. But um, anyway, that's a sidetrack. For those of you who wanted to know how much power we used, there you go. It's about, about 44 bucks a week. It was about 260 kilowatt hours a week. So not that much. And as I get some of these older, and that's how many games we got. We got about 40 pinball and about 15 video and other amusement devices. So just give you an idea. And as I've converted over a lot of these uh, machines to, to, from incandescent to LED, that's gonna uh, bring our, our general use down a bit. I don't think a whole lot. Eventually, I'm going to do a conversion on Medusa. Medusa, I have a, a few of them have burned out. I want to actually replace them all um, with incandescent because I've got a couple burnt out ones kind of scattered around. But it's mostly incandescent under the plate. There's a lot of lights in this machine. And I'm really interested to see, it gets, it gets quite warm. I'm interested to see what the, what the usage is with incandescent lights and then convert it to LED and see what the usage is after it's been converted. The only thing I'm not gonna convert to LEDs is this strip up here because it has this nice, with incandescence, you have this nice sort of fluid motion. When you convert this to LED, LEDs are on and off. These go on and then when they go off, they kind of dim. So it gives this nice kind of movement. With LEDs, this would just look like crap. I did that in, um, here I am getting sidetracked, but I did that in roller games. I had done this all up and I did the figure eight and, uh, oh, I have a light out in my figure eight. See how it's nice and kind of fluid movement? When I changed it to LEDs, it looked terrible. So I actually put all incandescents back in here, but everything else is LED. But I digress. So anyway, now you know, the more you know, if you're wondering how much it's gonna, how much power you need for, uh, uh, you're, you're setting up a barn and you're gonna fill it full of pinball machines, you wanna know how much power you're gonna need. That's about how much power you're gonna need for about 40 machines. So uh, if you have 20 machines, you need half of that. So about, uh, two, I don't know, you do the math. <laughs> All right, that's all I have to say. Uh, that was kind of fun. Uh, thanks for watching.